everyone good morning good afternoon and good evening to the Philippines and also here in England London England and also to all my friends to all my subscribers who are supporting me with my blogs thank you very very much to all of you today is on 21st of July which is Friday here in London and the time now is four o'clock in the afternoon so before I'm going to proceed with my videos uh, my video I would like to uh, greet my uh, batchmate there in Calamba Laguna uh, her name is Elsa Kapurihan from Calamba Laguna hi to you uh, it's been a long time that we didn't see and chat each other I hope you're safe and healthy this time and I hope you uh, always fine and in a good health as well and also to my classmate to lovely Ebreo so wherever you are I hope you're still happy and healthy as well so I would like to say thank you as well to my my friend uh, uh, Juliet Madrid of uh, Cabuyao Laguna hi to you and I hope you are in a good condition and in a good health as well and thank you for your supporting my blogs and also for the message that you're sending me for the non-stop uh, support thank you very very much and to all my classmates my batch mate in uh, primary high school and college in Manila so and also my classmate here in London in University of West London wherever you are all of you now so I hope you are in good health and also to my friend Tang Don Mang of Burma in Myanmar I hope you are okay now I hope you are uh, whatever we discussed before uh, privately I hope you settle it and you solve all your problems so before anything else I would like to say again thank you all of you and I hope you're all safe and be strong with this pandemic and stay healthy okay so I'm giving you a smile so before anything else or before I'm going to proceed with my topic I would like to say thank you very very much to all my supporters to all my subscri subscribers to all my friends all over the world so um, please don't forget to like share and comment with my YouTube channel and don't forget to click or hit the bell button below para updated kayo kay Kuya Wells na mga vlogs or escapade in my life here in London. So, I'm going to discuss and topic today is all about diabetes. So, what is diabetes? Ang diabetes po ay when our blood sugar is too high or our blood glucose in the blood is too high. So, do you know that that blood glucose is a... Uh, uh, our blood glucose is very important so you know the source of our blood glucose is uh, all the food that we ate so that is the source of our blood glucose. our source of energy come it comes from the food that we ate every day every time so yan po ang mga sources ng ating uh, energy at dyan po tayo kumukuha ng mga lakas so okay so insulin so what is insulin insulin is a hormone made by our pancreas in tagalog is our lapay so ito pong insulin is um it's a po is a uh, nag-help sa ating glucose uh, to uh, to help into our cells na nagpo-provide ng ating energy in our every day or every time every minute every second energy so yan po ang importansya ng ating insulin sa katawan at ang importansya ng pancreas na nagpo-produce po ng insulin pagka tayo po ay nag-input ng ating mga sugar na uh, kinain o whatever food intake in everyday that uh, uh, give us a uh, sugar and then this um, pancreas is uh, making uh, insulin and then helping the uh, blood glucose uh, to go into the cells that uh, make and source of our body energy so iyan po ang ang combination o ang mga trabaho nila ng blood glucose at ng insulin sa atin in a short word our bodies needs an insulin or need an insulin 
uh, to transform glucose to energy. So, yan po ang importansya ng glucose at ng insulin at ng ating blood sugar at ng ating pancreas. So, that's uh, their functions. We have different types of diabetes. So, the first one is type 1 diabetes. So, type 1 diabetes is a uh, uh, it occurs when the body fails to produce an insulin so the the next one is a uh, type 2 diabetes and we have also the gestational diabetes which is a uh, during a uh, preg pregnancy and also we have also the other one is a uh, pre-diabetic this type 1 diabetes uh, uh, most of the people uh, with uh, diabetes are uh, 10% of the diabetes disease of the patient is 10% of them is a type 1 diabetes so they use a uh, insulin injection till the rest of their lives so that is the uh, type 1 diabetes the next one is uh, the type 2 diabetes um, the type 2 diabetes uh, they said that the the bad the body does not react to the insulin so we called uh, insulin resistance and then the production of insulin is also less type 2 diabetes uh, can occur any age but uh, the most is a uh, 40 age and above so oh my god so be careful do you know that a uh, 90 percent of uh, people uh, those with uh, diabetes are type 2 diabetes so guys don't eat sweet too much and carbohydrates i'm going to discuss that later so this uh this uh, uh discussion is uh, really uh, really talk about sugar so it means you are sweet so are you sweet with your honey uh okay so this type 2 diabetes is a combination of uh, genetic and lifestyle so sometimes we inherit this uh this uh, kind of disease and also with our lifestyle we are overweight we are lack of activity or something like that so yeah lifestyle I mean lifestyle the way you eat the way you uh, um, look after yourself okay so the next one is uh, we called uh, gestational diabetes uh, we called um, hormonal balance or hormonal changes during pregnancy when the blood sugar or blood glucose of a woman the pregnant woman um, is getting high or very high during uh, their uh, pregnancy so um, the GP the doctor or whoever is looking after or the uh, the midwife or midwives with a pregnant woman uh, woman so they did uh, they do that uh, blood test uh, to detect if the um, a pregnant woman has had uh, this uh, um, gestational diabetes due to overweight or too much weight or lack of exercise because uh, you know when the woman is uh, pregnant there are a little bit of um, they don't want to move because of the of the baby is a bit heavy that's why that is the, the cause as well and the next one or final one is the uh, pre-diabetes uh, so when your blood sugar is uh, above um, higher than normal range so your doctor will uh, uh, will tell you to do the uh, proper test or the test so I'm going to discuss you the uh, different kinds of tests to detect if you have diabetes or to check your blood sugar level so we have different types of tests so this test evaluates the average amount of glucose uh, in the past uh, two to three months so we call this um, he uh, hemoglobin uh, a1c or hb hb a1c so this one is a uh, very very helpful to our doctors to uh, evaluate uh, if you have baby we have also fasting plasma glucose uh, so uh, we um, do this test within uh, 8 uh, to 12 hours of uh, fasting and the next one is uh, we do also the um, the test during pregnancy which is uh, the gestational diabetes so we do uh, we do this uh, test during a uh, second trimester or until uh, third trimester of a uh, pregnancy of um, of a woman 
and then the, uh, the other one is the normal test which is we use the glucometer and then we have strip and then we just uh, prick our finger and then take a blood and then this one is a normal to uh, monitor what blood sugar we have at present so this one is also very important it's very helpful to check our blood sugar um, if we have diabetes we are going to talk about now the causes of diabetes so uh, the causes the first one is is uh, the sedentary lifestyle so this is unhealthy eating habits like unhealthy food eating uh, unprocessed food so that is the um, number one so it's smoking is also causes of uh, diabetes and also stress if you're stressed this is my cause of your um, diabetes and also overweight or obesity and if you have also we uh, from the genes as well is a genetic or a hereditary sometimes if um, your family have diabetes so you can uh, also inherit this kind of disease and also if you're overweight a lack of exercise so eating uh, saturated fats so that is also a source or causes of uh, diabetes um, abnormal functioning of the liver and the pancreas can uh, cause as well of the uh, diabetes and if we are if you uh, if you are belong to african uh, continent and also to southeast asian uh, country so uh, it will cause or also uh, prone to um, diabetes and um, the other one if you are um, overweight like, like I said before as well and then um, you're increasing your age so those are uh, getting old like me so I'm also a uh, pre-diabetes when I visited my GP twice so he did the HB uh, one ac so which is uh, my doctor or my gp told me that i'm pre-diabetes so i need to be very careful to lessen my eating carbohydrates my rice and also the uh the soda or soft drink so just uh, plenty of fluids i need to drink not uh, always ju juices or sweets or and avoid also chocolate something like that so that's my uh, gp's um, request so i'm following my gp's but now my blood sugar is normal ngayon naman mga guys mga friends o oh, pag-usapan naman natin ang sign and symptoms ng diabetes so uh, the first one is they said you can feel or you gonna uh, you will feel like uh, frequent, frequent urination so lagi ka pong naiihi and then uh, feeling hunger so lagi ka pong gutom and then excessive thirst so you always uh, uhaw so you, you want uh, you feeling that you want to drink so that is the sign and symptoms and then sometimes your um, your uh, breath smell of sugar sugary or uh, like metallic uh, smell they said like that and the sign and symptom as well you have blurred vision so be careful guys look after yourself and also one thing is um uh you have a feeling of tingling tingling sensation uh, on your uh on your feet and also in your toes you will have you will have also a uh, slow healing wounds if you have diabetes and also the um the, the man uh, with diabetes they said uh, they decrease the libido or the sex drive or they always are feeling fatigue excessive fatigue or they are very weak or tired so that is the for the for the for the man with diabetes for the for the woman who have diabetes uh, sign and symptom is also you will have UTI and you have yeast infection so that kind of um, scenario or uh, things that happen to people with diabetes for uh, men and women. people with diabetes is uh, also uh, they have um, dry and itchy skin so they always scratch it and then uh, when you see uh, the skin is dry and uh, you need to uh, apply a moisturizer sometimes uh, the, the skin is peeling and then there's like sometimes if you uh, don't uh, look after yourself 
uh, the skin is going to be flaky uh, after the um, like uh, after it, it's very dry and then you don't apply any moisturizer and don't look after yourself well so it's going to be flaky and then until uh, it's getting worse so please look after yourself now we're going to talk about the prevention prevention of diabetes so first one so so we need to uh, avoid uh, uh, eating much carbohydrates or too much carbohydrates so we need to lessen the carbohydrates and then secondly uh, stop smoking if you're smoking so if you're obese so you need to uh, um, decrease your weight uh, you need to do uh, exercise if you're lacks of exercise you need to do and work for it and then um, avoid also the uh, high, uh, high fat um, food which is like especially in milk if you are going to buy a milk just buy the low fat milk and then eat a high fiber diet as well so also uh, reduce the blood sugar intake and also the uh, salt intake you we need to do uh, we need to decrease the salt intake as well so that's the one of the uh, most important thing that we need to do if we want to uh, prevent the next one is uh, avoid uh, avoid sedentary lifestyle or uh, unhealthy uh, eating habits and then uh, also consider to have a vitamin D for your um, diabetes because vitamin D is uh, helping uh, people with diabetes and like I said, uh, so if you're overweight, do an exercise and then uh, instead of uh, eating fry fried food, so just uh, have uh, the steam or uh, grill, uh, grill things like uh, if you have chicken or fish, instead of you frying it, just do a grilled one. So that is uh, one of the healthy thing or um, option to uh, help or prevention of uh, diabetes. We need also to um, minimize uh, intake of uh, processed food, uh, so that is according to study and according to the, uh, the research, so that is uh, one of the important things. And also consider um, taking, um, taking a herbal, uh, herbal food, so they said that that, that is uh, one of the uh, uh, Thing that uh, you can help to prevent diabetes so if you are happy to have like a uh, herbal things like herbal uh, tea or something like that they said also coffee and tea are also uh, um, helping um, diabetes uh, to to prevent okay guys so ngayon pumunta naman tayo sa treatment of diabetes also what is treatment of diabetes so they said is a diet Diet is the most important to treat the diabetes. So that is one of the treatment. Exercise, and then oral medication, and then insulin, and home glucometer. So if we have glucometer, we can monitor and check our blood sugar. And then in the hospital, we have nurses and healthcare staff to monitor our blood sugar. So that is our treatment for the diabetes so if you're in the hospital so we need to monitor our patient uh, blood sugar to so after knowing the result so by the way the normal normal blood sugar here in the uk is a uh, four mill millimoles to seven millimoles but uh, in the philippines is i think the normal um, blood sugar level is 120 millimoles that is uh we follow the american setting so here in uk is different to america and then um, philippines is uh, uh doing american setting so okay guys uh before i uh uh, I finished this uh, I finished this uh, video I would like to say thank you very very much very much to all of you who subscribe to my uh, YouTube channel again this is Kuya Wells I would like to say thank you again non-stop thank you to all patients ward and Henry Ward that all my colleagues there in acute medicine Alexandra Ward Henry Ward and also Mark Ward and Ann Ward to all my colleagues there thank you very much I miss you all and also in uh, TRU in Guy's Hospital uh, it's a transplantation uh, renal and and urology to all my colleagues at work there thank you very much to all your support to me 
uh, I'm very happy I work with you and I met all of you so please uh, don't forget to subscribe to my youtube channel this is Kuya Wells again don't forget to uh, uh, like comment and subscribe and share and the most important is uh, please 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 hit the bell bell button below para update kayo kay Kuya Wells hanggang sa muli po thank you very very much again and don't forget to wash your hands wear the mask social distancing and stay at home to prevent and stop this coronavirus thank you again and god bless you again mabuhay po kayong lahat dito sa london and sa philippines and also around the world thank you very very much hi genevieve sower of patience wired i miss you and andrea teresa olatayo and vicky um Sister Marta, Sister um, uh, Matron, and also Vicky, Marjorie, those I did not mention, I forgot the names, E.B., uh, Julian, and also um, to Renal and Urology. Thank you very, very much. Thank you po. I love you all. God bless you.